Good afternoon, outdoor office family. What we got? Discovery. Hashtag mind blown. Yes, me and the boys are going to put an engine kit together. This uh, give you a little bit. It's uh, for STEM, science, and technology, technology engineering, engineering, and math. You got that right. Crankshaft. You have valves. You have spark plugs. I I do STEM um, in school. There's 104 pieces. You do STEM in school? Yeah. Yep. What else? Science, technology, um, engineering, and the math. They look like they're already about to go to sleep. Mm -hmm. I don't think this one's going to be boring, but what we're going to do, uh, we're going to set things up, and we're going to try to see if we can do a time lapse of us building this together. Y'all hang in there. All right. We're not able to do a time lapse with my uh, phone, so... We can do a hyperlapse, but I don't think that's going to look too good. Uh, but Caleb wants. If you get my shirt, comment down below. What's it say on the bottom? It says Long Beard Nation. Long Beard okay, Nation. If you... And if you get this one too. <laughs> I think anybody that watches our channel will probably get both of them, but comment below. All right, guys, let's get this thing unboxed and just give you some fascinating facts. Uh, engines of change. The four-stroke internal combustion engine was the first practical alternative to the steam engine. French engineer, I believe it's Alfonso Du Beau de la Roque, or something like that, patented the engine in 1862 but never built it. In 1876, over a decade later, German engineer Nicholas Otto constructed the first working prototype ushering in the new era of engine efficiency. It was so successful, more than 30,000 were built in the next 10 years. Hold on, bud. Are, are you sure these bags are not marked for the pieces that we need for the bags to go together? He just says, warning, keep this bag away from babies and children. Do not use in cribs. All right. Beds, carriages, or then y'all can't do anything with them because you're still children. All right, let's, let's, up, let's get all the pieces and parts laid out here. We're going to give you an overview of the parts. Here's basically your block. You've got your uh, fan shrouds and your belts. Um, you got, got parts of your pistons, spark plug wires. You got your muffler system, exhaust system. Uh, what is that? We have this an one. auger. That's an auger? Yeah. Kind of looks like an auger. That's called a crankshaft. <laughs> Alright. And we got a, a mini little teeth cleaner. That's your cooling fan. But <laughs> number one says we're going to start with the base. Number two is the base. And then we're going to start with the upper crank case. And then the cylinder block, gasket head, and set screw. Or I'm sorry. I went the wrong way. We're going to go with the crankshaft. Uh, your connecting rods your connecting rod keepers and some screws and we're going to put all these together on the crankshaft and then from there we'll do your piston halves and the piston pins and we'll get all those together so by the end of step four we will have a crankshaft and our pistons put together so hang in there with us The oil pan's on, the lower crankcase is going on now, and we got six screws. Alright, Caleb, what are you working on? Um, okay, I just need to reach my hand. Maybe. What is that called that you're working on? I'm using the, the, um, the crankshaft, I think. That is the crankshaft, and what else? I need help. Gears. You, you've got your connecting rod, and, and then your rod. connecting rod keeper. So... Daddy, here help. is your connecting rod, Give me a dumb and screen. here's your okay. keeper right here. So, let's keep. All right, we need <laughs> eight piston halves and then the piston pins for this step here. So, the you crankshaft take... is done with the connecting rods and the yeah. rod keepers. So, no, 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 no. Caleb, look over here at the directions. You gotta put the you gotta put the piston pins in through your connecting rods. 
And then your piston halves go together on it. Yeah, like this. With the but piston you gotta rod. put you gotta put it on your connecting rod first. You gotta put your piston pins in. Okay. And now you put your other half in. And they should snap together. Get it together. There's your piston. Good job. All right. Thank you. Got to do that way? three more times. Yep. And you, Caleb, you do too, and Isaac will do too. I'm going to put the top pin piston thing on. Okay, what is that called? I don't this. know. We need this. It's called the upper crank case. I'm oh. going to put the upper crank case on this thing, and then we're done. Okay. No, we're not. We got a lot more steps. That's only step five. So your upper crankcase has to go in. It says, pay close attention to the direction of the crankshaft. Okay? Already got we that. We got to make sure we're right on this. Because if you put your crankshaft in how backwards. How are you supposed to do this? Huh? One piston at a time. There you go. I beat the system. Yes, you did. But you got to make sure your crankshaft's going on correctly. Bah! There you go. <laughs> now, is oh, that, is yeah! It, is that correct? Well, hold on, hold on, hold on, bud. You got to <laughs> have your cylinder block where it goes, rides up and down in. All right? Got him. We need All right. screw any in. You got four screws you got to put in. So where? go ahead and do that. Where? What size? Where? Over what here? size? Yes. What size? The number ones. The real. All right. The upper crankcase is on. Uh, the pistons and the crankshaft are set in a proper place. Now, Isaac is putting on the head gasket to the cylinder block, and then we've right got to put it on top of the upper crankshaft crank case. Okay, whatever. <laughs> upper crankcase. Okay. Hey. This is Engine Building 101. Let's <laughs> The boys are actually getting to see what a four-cylinder engine does. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's, uh, let's get the screws in there and get the head gasket on. So we're working on this and um, going very... Um, well, cool. it's looking like an engine because it's doing this. That's cool. I think that's good, right? If yep. it does that. Yep. Keep going. Yep. We are going to take the lower cylinder head with the cylinder head covers, right here. valve stems and springs and screws, and we're going to get all that together. I took the liberty to go ahead and put the cylinder head covers in myself here and here but i'm gonna let the boys build the valves with the springs so we'll get that uh started right what are you doing isaac putting the thing the thing on the what thing I don't you're know taking the valve called. spring for the valve stem and the valve spring right mm -hmm. and putting it let's go buck fever Shut up. Why is he always going crooked? Oh, that was close. What is this thing? All right. The boys are installing the valve stems. If this is how they go. Uh, through the cylinder head covers into the lower cylinder head. And then... Is that what we're doing right now? Yeah, yeah that's, that's what you're doing right now, bud. Mm. I didn't even look at the oh, All right. What we've got here, this was a little bit of a trickery part here. You had to hold the uh, valve stems and the springs up as you put uh, the intake and the exhaust uh, valves as you snap those on place. Now, we're going to flip it over and we are going to install uh, the lower cylinder head back on top of what was this called over here the cylinder block. good yep 
All right, let's get that. Next step's a little tricky. Yeah, there's not much room to work, is there? No. Nope. All right. So we've got the lower head, um, lower cylinder head uh, that we have to attach here. And then we, next steps after Caleb and Isaac do this, we fold it over. Eight. Where are these screws supposed to go? Huh? I'll show you again. Look. Step number eight. Oh, As we got our... We got our cam rollers and our shafts. And I our see where they're supposed cam. to go, but how are you supposed to do that? We got to put them in there? alphabetical order, so that's going to be fun. So let's get. All right, now the little tricky part here. We're going to take a long shaft and we're going to make our timing cam. We have to put these in alphabetical order um, and they face each other. So A to B, C to D, on and on. And the ridges uh, face each other. So we're gonna go ahead and get that part together. All right, we've got our timing cam in. Um, so you can see that there. That's pretty Now long we are putting in the upper cylinder head, which is already mounted. Caleb is getting ready to put, to the put these screws in Trying to put these tiny screws in. Look at how tiny this is. That's a small one, yep. All right, we'll get that bolted in. And then next. What the heck? Uh, we're going to be doing the rocker arms uh, on the short shaft. So once we get that in, we'll show you that. So Isaac is putting on the rocker arms. Looking good. All right. Caleb is installing the bearings now. Once the bearings are done, we'll put the rocker arm cover on. Rocker arm cover going on, baby. What happened to this? So, nothing, bud. Hold on, stop. Stop okay. doing that. Stop doing that. You'll get it out of time. Stop doing that. Okay, what? there's timing on a motor for a reason, bud. I didn't know Okay, that. yes, there is. So, now we're going to get screws. the rocker arm cover on here. And then next, we're going to be going to the timing gear and timing wheel. Okay, we're going to turn the lights on. Uh, what Isaac's going to do, he's going to install the timing wheel and the timing gear. And then we're going to go with the belt pulley and then the timing belt right here. So, I'll get him in action doing that. Alright, timing belt is installed. And now we're going to do the timing belt cover with some four screws here. Alright. We got to put the timing belt cover on. Isaac's going to put the four screws in that. And then our next steps are we are going to put our water pump on with three screws. And we're going to continue on. We're almost. All right, uh, buddy, I need you to go over there and get me the water pump parts, okay? With three small screws. All right. I'm going to put the water pump right here. So let's get that in. Isaac's finishing up the water pump. All right, so Isaac is getting ready to install the crankshaft pulley, the fan belt pulley, and the crankshaft cover. So he is putting on the crankshaft pulley right now. Uh. <laughs> this is going to be a hard one here, bud. Oh, all right, we got a. Okay, we're tightening these up. My dad helped me get these in here because we couldn't get them in. All right, so. now what's our next step? Put this on, and then we need belt. Got to put our belt on, right? Yep. All right, let's get that in. All right, we've got our fan belt installed, and now we have to get the fan installed. So you want to go get the fan real quick, bud? Mm -hmm. All right, go get it real quick. And you're going to use the S1 screws for this, okay? Go ahead and get your fan put on there. Right here? Yep, and then let's get it screwed together. The small ones? All right, we're putting on our, our uh, a drive module here, but first off we had to do our flywheel spacer and then our uh, clutch here, our flywheel clutch, and then now we gotta put the screws in here for this. Did your gears match up here on the bottom? 
for the drive wheel? Yep. Okay. Well, let's get the screws in there then. We're getting our clutch housing in place. And then after that, we're going to put our, our distributor assembly. <laughs> Those are giving us a fit, right? How does it stick? We, 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 we will not let y'all suffer through how hard it is to put these small screws in. All right. Isaac is putting on the distributor assembly here. Uh, you can barely see it, but those four wires are numbered one, two, three, four from top to bottom. Uh, they've got small little LEDs to make sure you're doing it correctly. So, we're almost done. We've got like three more steps to go. All right. Carry on. Carry on. All right. Okay, so How's it putting cooking? these in the exhaust right here. Yep. And then we got to do your exhaust manifold cover the other side. on the other side. So, turn that around. Go. Push that right in there. Like that. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's get to our next steps. And then we got to cover our, our intake manifold. Do you know where that's at? Right here. You sure? Is yep. that is that what you want to cover it with? Yeah. All right. Let's... All right. We've got our manifold cover. What was that one called? Do you remember? The C to take in manifold. Intake manifold. Intake. Yep. Now go ahead and get the carburetor on there. Alright, now guys and girls, we're almost like to the moment of truth on this thing. Let's get us a full view of what we got going on here. So, here's this side. So I'm going to get it all turned around for you. And we're going to see if this thing works. So, fingers crossed. Let's see. Let's get the batteries put in the control and the power supply. And we're going to take this baby for a test. All right, Outdoor Office family, I wanted to show you this thing running. Um, it ran for like five seconds, but the timing belt keeps coming off. And I'll show you the reason why. So go ahead, Isaac, start that. The timing belt right there, see? The vulcanization right there. Boom, and it's off. All right. What's happened is, and I've called and I've contacted Merch Source on this, but where the belt was vulcanized together in two spots, uh, the teeth are not exactly right. Did you get the white? I've got you. And the belt is not exactly straight. So we were going to show you how it ran. We couldn't get it going. We found out that the timing belt kept slipping off. Uh, they do send a replacement belt with it. Um, it is the same way here and here. So I've sent them pictures of, of these belts. I've asked for a one-piece belt, if at all possible, instead of two pieces uh, in here. So we'll see. Very quick to respond, uh, but... This is the Discovery Mind Blown, and it's a cool little build, but we had some issues here, but hopefully they get us new belts, we'll get it together, and we'll give you a part two of this thing while it's running. I hope y'all enjoyed this video here, but uh, this is Larry Johnson from the Outdoor Office. No matter what the season, we got you in our sights. You got that right. Y'all be good.